controversial new organ donors register has been launched, promising preferential treatment for anyone signing up. But doctors say it's not legally binding and is morally repugnant. Political editor, Deputy political editor Francesca Mould has more. Woody Moo Kepa loves the outdoors, but is only able to enjoy it after a heart transplant gave him a second chance at life. Without the donor giving his heart, I wouldn't be sitting here in front of you. But he's lucky, given we have the lowest rate of organ donation in the Western world. Two years ago, just 25 people donated. It rose to 38 last year. But donation advocate Andy Tookie says it's not enough. The transplant waiting list has now become the waiting to die list. He's now launched a new donor register, a website called Life Sharers. Members who sign up agree to donate their organs when they die. They do so on the condition those organs are offered first to fellow members. But transplant doctors say the idea is morally repugnant. They say people should get organs based on medical need and benefit, not simply because they ticked a box on a website. Andy Tookie says it's unfair for people to refuse to be donors but then accept organs when they need them. It's like awarding the lotto prize to somebody who d didn't buy a ticket. The new register isn't legally binding and some recipients say doctors should make the final call. I don't truly believe that race, creed, religion or state has got anything to do with who gets an organ. He's grateful for his second chance and wants us all to think about the gift we can give others. Francesca Mould, One News.